Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Glow, issue number one out of IDW. A lot of Tinny Howard this week. What's up? And she's not even in one single comic book company. She got some Valiant with, um, what is it called, The Forgotten Queen. She's got this in IDW. What's up with that? Is she doing anything in Marvel this week? Because she does work with Marvel, too. <laughs> does she work with DC also? So uh, I love this uh, script, how everything works. We got written by Teeny Script Slayer Howard. Art by Hannah Sor Saurus Rex Templar. I love that name. That is the perfect name here. Colors by Rebecca Deadline Crusher and Nalti. Uh, la, 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 la. Letters by Krista Barracuda Meissner. Uh, not, not Barracuda, Barracuda. And uh, the iconic editing dude. There's a whole bunch of people in here. This Bobby uh, Cherno dude, though, man. What's up with that? A company to the ring by group editor. Everybody else is a female, and then this dude comes up, man. What's up with that? Anyway, um, this was this was a fun comic book. I didn't watch the current uh, Glow series. I think that they're, they're, they're still doing it, like season two and all that stuff. Uh, maybe I will sit down and actually watch it. Because I actually used to watch Glow back in the day. Back when I was a little kid and I just I couldn't get enough wrestling. And Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling was freaking awesome. Because, you know, it was funny. They did do skits that were so outlandish that it was perfect, you know? Uh, it really defined, I think that was during the 80s. Was it like late 80s, 88, 89, something like that? But it really defined a good portion of my wrestling childhood, you know? And um, I remember Ivy, uh, excuse me, Ivory growing up. She's the only, um, I wouldn't say holdover. She's the only one that actually made it into professional wrestling as far as like a WWE is concerned. And it was always great seeing her, you know? But um, aside from that, this this felt more like, I guess, what the TV show I imagine it is. Because uh, the, the, the very, what's the word I'm looking for? Weasley manager that's here. He's at the promoter. He's like, uh, yeah, since we're low on money because we lost sponsors, uh, you girls are going to have to do such and such and such and pay for such and such and make sure that it's like he's a weasel, you know? Ooh, not not so a different from uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan, the ultimate weasel. Um, this, so yeah, you know what? That kind of makes me enjoy this book just a little bit more. <laughs> but he is different from that. He's more sleazy than just weaselly. Anyway, uh, sleazy is actually the word I was looking for before. So this is, this was like a really cool episode. Look, if the book continues, that's awesome. No promises that I'll continue reading it. But I could. If I didn't have so many comic books that I was reading week after week, like 30 plus, before I even get to my digital comic books, dude, nah. Because even this week, I'm thinking to myself, I'm not going to be able to review all of my comic books. I'm just not. And I don't like to do them the next week, but we'll see. Anyway, this was genuinely a really fun comic book. I loved this. Um, I like that lately Teeny Howard has also been putting, uh, excuse me, not just her, a few people, um, IDW, has been putting the what's what happened recently or where did this come from on the back of the book that's cool that's cool no complaints about that gives you more room on the inside to see whatever the script you know who did what and then all the variant covers which i don't know they needed this many variant covers but hey man if it helps the book to sell then so be it because this was a fun book i don't like it it's even yeah duh look at that it's even partnered with netflix specifically so confirmed <laughs> good book guys i would definitely consider giving it a check all right Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.